more details tonight, just a little farther down the strand, where we now know what the future holds for a pair of troubled motels. That's right, our Eric Richards joins us in the control room, telling us what we've learned just today in detailing how the decision will impact at least one longtime guest. Eric. That's right, Rachel and Eric. Ocean Lakes Campground confirms that they will tear down the Roadside Inn and Astro Motel months after closing a deal to buy the land the properties sit on. Tonight, just two residents remain at Astro, and the clock is ticking for them to get out. I wasn't happy, but at the same time, I wasn't ready to leave. Longtime Astro Motel resident Dr. Hayden Gelp is spending the last few days in her home of 18 years before she has to move out. When they came to our door and knocked and gave us a, a, a real eviction notice and everything, that we, we had to be out by the end of September. Ocean Lakes Family Campground got the ball rolling on the closure in August when it closed the deal to buy the pair of motels that sit just steps away from the campground. Seemingly excited to bring new life to a pair of businesses battling violence and tarnished reputations. There is no plans for future development at this time but we do plan to demo the property, hopefully before year end. Roadside Inn was the scene of a shootout with Horry County PD back in January when they responded to reports of a disorderly man inside of one of the rooms. Dr. Gelp was in her room next door and tells me the standoff affected her personally. It was really horrifying on the night they exchanged shots because you could practically hear it thump, thump, thump. Mm -hmm. It damaged our water and we were without water for a while. The water and building have since been repaired. Gelp, however, must say so long by November 3rd. It's just difficult when you look at your driver's license. It says you've been someplace for 20 years. Now, Mr. Bender says that there are no development plans just yet for that land, but when there are, he will let us know. Live in the control room, Eric Richards, WMBF News.